Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 77 with me Craig Barton. Now those of you who've been following this Resource of the Week series for the last few years may remember that I featured not all that long ago this wonderful resource by Andrew Chambers, 100 Maths Investigations, a 90 page epic PDF which was just rammed with quality. Well. Make sure you're sitting comfortably for this one because I can confirm that Andrew Chambers is back with a sequel. Even more maths investigation ideas, an 80 page epic PDF rammed full of even more top quality stuff. And I can confirm that unlike the Avengers Age of Ultron or flipping Broadchurch 2, this is actually a decent sequel, possibly even better than the original. So it comes in a PDF and a Word document. It's pretty massive, so it takes a while to download. But here's the PDF uh, document, and there's just so much good stuff here uh, in here, it's hard to know where to start. Um, basically, the way this works is that quite a few of the investigations are built into this PDF, and then others link back to Andrew's blog, which is well worth um, a look. I've saved some of my favourites here that I just wanted to show you. So if I go to page 45, uh, you get here, how infectious is Ebola? And what I like about this is it's a way of... Um, showing students, particularly A-level students, or as Andrew points out, higher level GCSE students, how maths can play a part in the real world, but not in a fake, crammed in sense, in an actual proper, <coughs> interesting and engaging way. So this Ebola, uh, Ebola sorry, investigation um, explains how Ebola um, is contagious relative to other diseases and the statistical models that will be used to test that. Uh, really nice and um, interesting stuff there. Especially if you've got A-level students who um, perhaps have done the Statistics 1 module or maybe are going on to do stats at university. Fascinating stuff uh, with that one. And then on a slightly more light-hearted note, if we go to page 52, we get this one, Batman and Superman Maths. Now, you've, you and your students have probably seen these Batman uh, and Superman equations on the internet. But what I really like about what Andrew does here is he breaks it down into, into the separate bits and shows how these are all built up using curves that students will be familiar with either from GCSE or from A-level and, and inequalities and so on. Wonderful stuff. And if I just fly back to the, uh, the start here, I'll show you what else is going on. So as well as those in the content, you also have these which link to Andrew, uh, Andrew's blog. So for example, Patterns in Pascal's Triangle is one of my favourites. And if you give that a click, it just gives you a little warning sign here, just to check that you're happy with it. And then it takes it to either, in this case, uh, uh, Maths is Fun, which looks for patterns um, in Pascal's Triangle. But if I go back, um, if you to pick another one, for example, Chinese Remainder Theorem, uh, this will take you, I believe, to uh, Andrew's excellent uh, website himself where you can read up and access more resources on that. And there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of resources and ideas and activities going on here. I think Andrew says there's over 150 covering all different areas of mathematics. So then the question is, how do you use this? Well, as I said when I first uh, reviewed Andrew's um, first booklet, it's quite tricky, unfortunately, especially in this country, uh, to fit um, rich investigative tasks like this into the A-level curriculum because there's just not that much time and there's quite a bit of content to go through and I tend to find and maybe this is just me but I like to get through the course fairly quickly and then I find that students really start to understand uh, the content of the course when we start going through papers so it's quite tricky to, to set aside a week or two weeks to look into something like this but I'm trying my best to do so but I found another way of using this which I, I found pretty successful and that's if you've got any students who are going on to do mathematics, excuse me, at university, or maybe someone's uh, even applying for a one at an Oxbridge place. Um, often they want to know um, an area of mathematics outside of the of school studies that they can investigate and perhaps mention on their personal statement and do some further research and, and bring it up in discussion at, at, at interview. And this document's wonderful for this. So um, I have a student, Carl, who, um, who applied for maths at, at Cambridge, and I just gave him um, Andrew's previous PDF and said, look, just have a flick through this, see if anything catches your eye, and then use the links that Andrew provides to look into it deeper yourself. And it's kind of an overview of interesting, quirky areas of mathematics that's absolutely ideal for students wanting to study the, further, uh, wanting to study the topic. Um, further. So it's that might be a nice way to use it, but I, in an ideal world I'd love to see this used in the classroom more and more and more, but as we all know we're, we're all up against significant time constraints unfortunately. Um, it would also be suitable for um, higher achieving GCSE students, but some of the maths is really really tough in this, but again there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, it's, it's a wonderful comprehensive 
um, engaging document. So there it is. Um, in the link below, you'll find a link to this resource and also to Andrew's first booklet, all completely free, all absolutely wonderful. So thank you so much for, uh, for producing that, Andrew. And who knows, will this be uh, the second part of a trilogy? We will wait and see. So uh, there it is, what even more uh, investigations for mathematics. And I'll be back with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.